What's up guys? It's Mega Marcus96. Today I have a classic rifle from World War II on the American side. The M1 Garand. This was the standard issued rifle to the US Army uh, infantry soldiers and was ahead of its time with its semi-automatic design and easily addable cartridges and a clip. It had eight rounds in a clip and on the eighth round it would automatically eject the clip with the last casing. Um, it forced itself out uh, but obviously in mega form I have not been able to do that so yeah you just have your your eight cartridges and you just push it in there and then the thing is on the real one when you let go that's when the bolt goes forward not as soon as you push it in so like I push it in here it won't close until I like move my thumb it's just the way it's designed so you don't get bit um, the iron sights are just regular p by sights. They have knobs that you can increase and decrease the range that you're aiming at. Uh, it has an entire wood stock from butt to front. Uh, this one also has a gun sling on it, gun strap, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it fires a 30 6 cartridge. Let's see, um, there's not many attachments you can put with this. There's a rifle grenade you can do. You just put the grenade on the end and shoot it out. Another attachment is the one I have built right here, which is the bayonet. If it'll let me put it on. <laughs> So yeah, we have the bayonet, which is basically just a knife on the end, so you can melee your enemies easier than having to pull your knife out of your sheath on your waist or on your chest, depending on where you put it. So yeah, this is a helpful attachment. Um, there's not really much else I can think of to say about it. It's just got a unique uh, action, the way it works. Uh, there's some videos on YouTube that show how that shows how it works and all the interesting things about it. Like, here's the working trigger. Uh, it's got the stock. It's got a back kind of curve to it, so you can keep it nice and steady on your shoulder. So yeah, this is the M1 Garant. It's a pretty awesome rifle fairly accurate. So yeah, I'll set it down here and we'll get an overall look. I think that'll be about it. Alright, here it is. The M1 Garand. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think and have a great day.